NASA simulator helps to shed light on mysteries of solar system. Even in our cosmic backyard, the solar system, many questions remain open. On Venus there are formations similar to volcanoes but it is not known if they are active. The surface of Mars suggests that there was once a vast ocean, but how it disappeared remains unclear. On the other hand, recent detections of chemical compounds that may indicate the presence of biological activity on Mars and Venus, so-called biosignatures, keep the search for life outside Earth alive. The answers may lie in the analysis of the light that reaches us from these planets, through the fingerprints that the molecules leave in the spectrum of that light. In the study now published in Atmosphere, researchers from the Instituto de Astrofísica e Ciencias do Espo, Faculty of Sciences of the University of Lisbon, Portugal, compared simulations obtained with the Planetary Spectrum Generator, PSG, a planetary spectrum simulator, with observations of infrared light from the planets Venus, Mars and Jupiter. Using PSG, developed by NASA, the team was able to explain the results of some observations and conclude that this simulator is an effective tool for studying the abundances of chemical compounds present in small amounts in planetary atmospheres. One of the chemical compounds analyzed, methane, may originate from both biological activity and geological processes. That's why its elusive presence on Mars with detection by the Mars Express spacecraft and the absence of detection by the ExoMars to spacecraft remains a mystery. By varying the parameters of our simulations, we were able to explain this detection and non-detection of methane on Mars and understand the conditions and locations in which they can occur. This is an important step towards clarifying the association of methane on Mars with the possible existence of life explains Pedro Machado, Iachinchius Ulisboa, co-author of this study. Another unknown on the red planet also of great interest to the scientific field of the search for life outside Earth, astrobiology, is the fate of most of its water. Evidence suggests that this once flowed in abundance on the planet and that much of the northern hemisphere was once a vast ocean. Today, Mars is an icy desert. Knowing the ratio between two variants of hydrogen, the deuterium isotope and simple hydrogen, helps us understand the temporal evolution of water on Mars. Deuterium is a heavy hydrogen atom, its nucleus contains one more neutron, so water, H2O, made up of a deuterium atom and a hydrogen atom, HDO, is heavier and will escape into space with more difficulty. Comparison of this ratio at a global and local level on Mars, possible with this study, gives us valuable information about the fate of Martian water explains Joe Odias, Iachinchius Ulisboa, lead author of this study. Also included in this study, phosphine can be spontaneously produced in high-pressure and temperature environments in the presence of phosphorus and hydrogen, the two chemical elements that constitute it. This is what happens on Jupiter, with phosphine being one of those responsible for the colorful bands in the atmosphere of this gas giant explains Pedro Machado, but on a rocky planet like Earth where these extreme conditions do not exist, its presence is associated with biological activity. So, when in 2020 a study identified phosphine in the clouds of Venus, the scientific community turned its attention to this planet. Further studies carried out under other conditions showed that phosphine may not be present after all or be present in much smaller amounts than initially identified, something that we were also able to reproduce adds Pedro Machado. Still on Venus, sulfur dioxide is very important for us to know if there is volcanic activity. By precisely determining the abundance of this compound at different altitudes, as we have shown to be possible with PSG, we will be able to conclude about its origin as Joe Odias. This work is of great importance for space missions that are now being developed, such as Envision, Ariel, and Mars Express, from the European Space Agency, ESA, in which IA is involved, by telling us the expected values for these chemical components and allowing the instruments that are being designed for these missions to be optimized to detect within the range of expected values says Pedro Machado. 
who is a co-investigator of these missions, in particular, missions like Ariel, which will study the atmospheres of planets orbiting stars other than the Sun. Exoplanets benefit greatly from this type of solar system studies, which can serve as a model for what we hope to be able to observe outside the solar system, adds Joe Odias. This demonstration of the effectiveness of PSG is very important for the scientific community, and the EA is at the forefront of these studies by including in its planetary systems team specialists both in the study of the atmospheres of planets in the solar system and in the detection and characterization of exoplanets says Pedro Machado. Want to see the sunset on Uranus? NASA simulator creates stunning sunsets from planets across the solar system. The tool aims to understand how light moves and interacts through planets. To validate the technology, a NASA scientist used it to simulate sunsets. He created sunsets from Venus, Mars, Uranus and Saturn's largest moon Titan. Uranus's is a light shade of blue that fades into royal blue with hints of turquoise. A simulation created stunning sunsets from alien worlds across the solar system. The animation transports viewers to the surface of Venus, Mars, Uranus and Saturn's largest moon Titan, allowing them to witness the sun dip into the horizon. As a planet rotates away from the sun's light, photons scattered in different directions that produce an array of colors. The sunset on Uranus is a light shade of blue that fades into a royal blue with hints of turquoise, while Titan starts as a vibrant yellow then shifts into a fiery red. The simulation was developed by Geronimo Villanueva, a planetary scientist from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center using a computer modeling tool that may be used for a future mission to Uranus. The tool, known as the Planetary Spectrum Generator, aims to help scientists understand how light moves through and interacts with cosmic objects, including planets and comets. Villanueva hopes the generator will one day travel aboard a probe to Uranus, helping scientists interpret the measurements of light in the planet's atmosphere to reveal its chemical makeup. To test the tool, he simulated known sky colors of Uranus and other worlds. The animations were created with the perspective of the person standing on each of the Martian world's surface. The animations show all sky views as if you were looking up at the sky through a super-wide camera lens from Earth, Venus, Mars, Uranus and Titan NASA shared in a statement. In the video, a white dot is placed on all of the cosmic objects to represent the sun. The halo of light seen towards the end of the sunset on hazy Earth is produced because of the way light is scattered by particles, including dust or fog, that are suspended in the clouds. And the same is true of the Martian halo. On Mars, the sunset turns from a brownish color to a bluish because the Martian dust particles scatter the blue color more effectively. NASA previously released a stunning image of a sunrise on Mars. On the 145th Martian day of its scientific mission, InSight took two photographs of the horizon. One on April 24th and another a few hours later on April 25th in the evening and morning. Both images were snapped last year. The sun looks especially small because it's further away from Mars than the Earth so it is about two-thirds the size as seen on our planet. NASA's stationary InSight lander captured what sunrise and sunset looks like on Mars in 2019. Stunning images taken from the InSight's robotic arm shows the red planet landscape and the sun rising and setting at the equivalent of 5.30 am and 6.30 pm Mars local time. Taking pictures of Martian sunsets is somewhat a rite of passage for landers on Mars. It goes back to the Viking 1 lander, which snapped a photo of a Martian sunset in August 1976. Viking 2 caught a sunrise in June 1978, and both events were also captured by the Spirit, Opportunity and Curiosity rovers. It's been a tradition for Mars missions to capture sunrises and sunsets, said Dr. Maki in the NASA announcement, exploring the secret of Venus that may be hidden in the heat of the night. Despite being close to Earth and having nearly the same size, Venus is another world. Underneath its thick mantle of acid sulfuric clouds at the surface 460 degrees Celsius are the rule. This temperature is kept by the greenhouse effect of a virtually carbon dioxide only atmosphere. 
70 kilometers above, one has to withstand a perpetual wind storm, the product of the so-called Venus superirritation. A team of researchers led by the Instituto de Astrofísica e Ciencias do Espao, Iastro, is even closer to explaining the link between these infernal features. A study published in the journal Atmosphere, led by Pedro Machado, of Iastro and Faculdade de Ciencias da Universidade de Lisboa, Ciencias u Lisboa, presents the most detailed and complete set of measurements ever made of the speed of the wind in Venus parallel to the equator, zonal wind, and at the altitude.